How oh, do? Time for another beer review. For this one, I'm going back to the beers that are in Lidl in the German box. And this is from the, I'm going to get this wrong, uh, Hof and Hanna Schloss Brauerei. And it's Mars and Fest beer coming in at 5.6% in a 500ml bottle. So yeah, so um, I've put one video up on the channel. Um, as I said on that review, I'd had three of the beers previously before I'd... Um, I'd bought the box. Um, my thoughts now, because I've had like reviewed one, had one off camera, so this is going to be number six for me. My thoughts so far are that the the beers that from the breweries that are more well established over here that I'm more familiar with, such as Schneiderweiser and Hofbrau, are better than some of the more um, smaller, more regional breweries. Um, they haven't been terrible. They've been good and solid is kind of where I am at the moment. There's been a lot of hype in, in the UK for this box, um, especially on Facebook. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of the beer reviewers getting really excited about these beers. So far, I think they're pretty solid. Um, like I say, I've still got half the box to drink, so we'll see what happens. So I haven't had this beer before. Um, I don't think I've had anything from the brewery. Um, We'll see what we get with it. There's the crown. I quite like that. Quite a cool little design. Um, right. So that is more of a amber colour. It's it's darker than some of the other um, beers that I've had in the box so far. To be honest. Um, it looks brown on the camera, but it's more of a golden colour uh, in the light. There's a couple of bubbles going up, and it's got that whipped up white head that you would kind of expect. Right, we'll get the nose. Sweet. Do you know, this is going to be a weird one. It reminds me of those, do you remember those Lucasade, um energy sweets that used to come in? They were like big tablets. It smells like that. Bit of a weird one. Yeah, there's, there's kind of like an orange note in there as well. Right. Let's start with the cheers. That ain't bad. Um, out of the, the beers that I've had so far, um, from, like I said, the breweries that are, that are less established here in the UK, I'd say this is the better one so far of them. Um, it's got a real multi flavour about this one. Um, there's, there's like an orange hint in there for me. Um, it is quite boozy um, and it's got a cracking body on it. Um, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. This is, I think the Hofbrau's maybe. Um, my favourite in the box so far that I've had, and this one's maybe just just slightly behind that, but um, certainly not a bad beer. Um, yeah, if this was a staple in Lidl, I would revisit it. Whereas some of the other beers that I've had in the box so far, I probably wouldn't revisit. I wouldn't be in a rush to go and buy the box again. So, um, but I would happily, as a standalone beer in the box, revisit this one. Yeah, it's just it's just so easy drinking. Um, you can tell you're drinking a strong, uh, fest beer. Well, strong lager beer, I should say. Um, but I, I like it, and I would, I like I say, I would revisit it. That it's not like a, a real big heavy malt bomb, but you can, you can, you, the malts are shining in it. So I think it works. Um, I'm gonna recommend this one. I don't think that's bad. That is, whatever that's called. Um, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Um. It's a fest, it's fest beer Mars, I'm just going to call it. So, thank you for watching. I'll stick that in the little playlist. And on to the next one. Cheers.